Hello students, today we are going to solve an example on newton Raphson method. So let's take an example and let's try to solve it. So here we are taking an example x is equal to under root of 25 and we have been given that solve this by newton Raphson method. So first we have to make an equation out of it. Here we have x is equal to under root of 25. Then what we will do is like we will do the squaring on both sides. So when we square it on the both sides, this will be equal to x square and will be equal to under root of 25 whole square. This will be cancelled, this square and the root will be cancelled on the right hand side and from here we will be having x square. So x square is equal to 25 which implies that x square minus 25 is equal to 0 will be our f of x. So basically we are shifting this 25 to this side so from here it is a positive value then when we will shift it from this side to this side it will become the negative value therefore it implies x square minus 25 is equal to 0. So then this is our function this is our f of x therefore f of x is equal to x square minus 25. So this is the actual function which we have to solve for which we have to t get the root. So if this is equal to if the f of x is equal to x square minus 25, uh, then in the newton raphson method, if you remember that, we have to take the first order derivative of a function as well. So here the f of x is equal to x square minus 25. So the derivative that is f dash of x will be equal to 2x. This 2 will come here and this is the constant term. It will become 0. So this is 2x. Now we have to first of all check where the root will lie. So here you can see we will first of all try to put the values of x in the f of x equation uh, and we will try to get the values. So the values where the signs will differ the root will lie in between them. So let x is equal to 1. We are putting the x is equal to 1 in the f of x function. When we are putting it as 1, so f of x, this function will be equal to 1 square because we are putting x as 1. So it will be 1 square minus 25. That will be equal to minus 24. Then again, we are putting x as 2 in the same equation. So it will come as 2 square minus 25. That will be equal to minus 21 similarly on 3 it will come as minus 16 on 4 it will come as minus 9 and on 5 it will come as 0 and on 6 it will come as 6 square minus 25 that will be equal to 11 so therefore if you will see here we are getting a negative term here and then we are getting the positive term here so our root lies somewhere here so basically if you will see in this equation our root is 5 because the equation here is coming as 0 but we are not taking it here we are just trying to solve it by the newton raphson method so let's suppose that we will take the initial approximation as 6 so therefore let the initial approximation be 6 therefore x0 will be equivalent to 6. So what we will do is in the iteration 1 x0 is equal to 6 and our f of x is our question which is equal to x square minus 25 and our f dash of x is equal to 2x actually which we have already calculated here. If you will see we have already calculated here our f of x is x square minus 25 and our f dash of x is equal to 2x so i am writing it again here i am writing it again here f of x is equal to x square minus 25 and f dash of x is equal to 2x okay let's now try to solve f of x and f dash of x0 so f of x0 is equal to f of 6 because initial approximation we are taking as 6 so at 6 the value will equal to 
11. So because this is equal to 6 square minus 25, this will be this x will be replaced by 6. So it will be 6 square minus 25 that will equal to 11. So f dash of x 0 that will be equal to f dash of uh, 6 that will be equal to 2x. We are putting the value of x 0 in this f dash of x. So that will come as 12. Therefore, x1 will be equal to, according to our Newton-Rapson formula, which we have already derived in our previous video. So, our Newton-Rapson formula is our next value, x1, that will be equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0. So, all the values we have calculated here, so just we are, will put the values here. So, 6 minus, as x0 is equal to 6, so it will be 6 minus 11 f of x0 is 11 divided by 12. If you will calculate this, it will come as 5.083. Now after this, what we will do is we will try to calculate the absolute error. As you know, the absolute error is equal to the magnitude of x1 minus x0. So what is the value of x1 here we are getting? We are getting 5.083 minus 6. 6 is the value of x0 so that will be equal into if you will calculate it it will be equal into minus 0 0.917 as this is the magnitude so we will take the positive side of it so we are not taking the negative value so we will say that the absolute error here is 0 0.917 so if you will consider it here 0 0.917 there is a 0.917 of error so let's move on to the iteration second to reduce this error so in our iteration second our new value will be 5.083 therefore in our next iteration our x0 value will be 5.083 see in our next iteration that is iteration 2 our x0 value is 5.083 and our f of x function is given that is x square minus 25 and f dash of x is equal to 2x. Let's again try to calculate it in the same way. So f of x0 will be equal to f of 5.083. 5.083 is our f of x0. So we will put this 5.083 in this equation. It will be 5.083 whole square minus 25 that will be equal to 0.836. Then we will calculate f dash of x0. f dash of x0 is actually this. We will place 5.083 in this equation. So we will get 2 multiplied by 5.086. When you will calculate it, it will come as 10.166. So then again, we have the newton raphson formula. That is x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0. Put all these values in this equation and get this result. So x0 we have as uh, 5.083 and uh, f of x0 we have as 8.3 uh, sorry 0 0.836 and uh, f dash of x0 we have as 10.166. So when you will calculate this it will come as 5.000. So again we will calculate the absolute error that will be equivalent to x1 minus x0. So we have x1 as 5.000 uh, uh, 5 and we have x0 as 5.083. So our absolute error here is coming as 0 0.083. So somehow we are reducing this error because in our previous iteration the absolute error was 0.917. Now in this iteration we are getting an absolute error as 0 0.083. That is somehow we are coming closer to the zero. We are actually trying to get the value where our absolute error will be under the prescriber tolerance or it will come closer to zero. So let's move on to the next iteration. So iteration 3 wherein we will take the x0 value as 5 as we got this x1 value in the previous iteration as 5.000. So in our next iteration x0 will be equal to 5.000 f of x is equal to x square minus 25 which is our equation given equation and f dash of x is equal to 2x 
Now again we will calculate it for f of x0 and f dash of x0 because we need these values in the Newton Raphson formula. So we are calculating uh, f of x0 when we are calculating it, it is coming up to as 0 and when we calculate the f dash of x0, it is coming as 10.000. We will put these values in the formula and again we are getting the value of 5.0. 0, 0. So now we will again calculate the absolute error. Our x1 is equal to 5.000. Our x0 is equal to 5.000. So here we are getting an absolute error as 0. When we are getting the absolute error as 0, therefore it means that there is now no error. So there is no need to move to the next iteration. So we will stop here and hence we will say the root of the given equation is 5. The root of the given equation is 5. Uh, so uh, basically uh, what we are supposed to consider here is that if the absolute error will come as 0, then we have to stop there. Otherwise, in my previous lecture, I have told you that the iterative procedure terminates when the relative error for two successive approximations becomes less than or equal to the prescriber tolerance. That means if your error comes under the prescriber tolerance, at that time you can stop your iterations and you can say that the root lies there. So, thank you for watching today's video.